Hey, it's Olay from Photo Life Photography. Uh, so today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to take apart uh, the face of your land camera. Right here, um, we have a 230 land camera, plastic camera body, and add our um, lens adapter so that you can fit on a 110A, 110B um, lens onto your actual camera. So step one um, is to actually close your camera up and then we're going to open up the, uh, the back of the camera. With the, um, the plastic camera bodies you have to just break these little tabs right here. So anything as far as like, like needle nose pliers or something like that. Um, but the final product uh, you'll have screws that you have to uh, screw in. So what we're going to do is just break these uh, tabs. And your bellows will now uh, come loose. Uh, the next task is to remove the screws that attach um, to the shutter release cord here. So you can just use flathead screwdriver we have um, this cord is now loose and you're pretty much gonna end up snapping this off you won't need this um, we need to remove this cord uh, from the camera body because it's no longer needed you can do two things um, you can either just take a pair of scissors and snap them off or uh, remove it from this. Okay, so you have that open, and then you're gonna slide uh, this cord out from the bellows, like so, and you won't need that. All right, so the next task is to remove. Uh, the two screws that are right here. So one at the bottom and one at the top. Um, I found the best way to remove the one at the top is just uh, a pair um, right off. And then once you get it loose, you can just take it your finger and unscrew that. And then the bottom one, um, we have like a really tiny, it's a, really really tiny screw and if you have a tool uh, for this one it's best you have to remove this metal piece off the plastic body and the only way to do that is if you have a little dremel that you could um, remove these two rivets with you're pretty much sanding down the rivets so that the, that piece will come right off need this part anymore because our piece, our 3D printed piece, is identical to this. Um, it just allows for us to put a lens in. Okay, so but you do need to keep these two pieces because it's going to go onto the camera. Alright, so now we have our bottom piece attached and now we're just going to put the screw of this piece right here. Okay, once you have this top piece attached, you're ready to mount uh, your lens onto the camera body. Um, if you are using the correct lens, you will notice that um, the 110A, 110B has two little screw notches that you need to remove. So you have to get a really, really tiny uh, flathead screwdriver to remove these two uh, screws. Uh, we won't be needing the screws again, so you can just um, ditch them or pitch them. I tend to save everything. And then you grab your O-ring and your lens, and you're just going to slide that bad boy right in there and then 
put your O-ring in on the opposite side and pretty much screw your lens into your camera body. Okay, so once you have your lens attached, you can now attach the, um, the bellow adapter and that goes right inside and you get your four screws. And then that way you can then attach the bellows to the body of the camera. Once you attach your screws to your bellows, uh, all you have to do now is just attach your shutter release cord to your lens, set your shutter, and boom, you're ready to go.